to answer me, even if to just greet me. Eh, what have I done? Why are you treating me like this? Why? I never knew you were the one shouting my name. Sorry. Would you? Would you? When I tell you that I love you, I really mean it from my heart. I promise, if you accept to marry me, eh, I will make you the happiest woman on earth. I promise. I have told you several times that I am not interested. Eh? What is your problem? I don't want to get married now. I know that fine, marriage is what every woman wants to hear, but not for Uju. Hello, Idikwanya. I am still in SS3. There you go again. There you go again. Uju, I really love you. I can't stop thinking about you. Eh? I can't stop thinking about you. The other day, I was trying to talk to you. Eh? You played me home and away. Now I'm trying to play clean sheet. You have already played go go. What have I done to you? Is it when I die that you accept my proposal, would you? Why are you treating me this way? What have I done to you? Eh? Wait, is it a crime to say that I don't want to get married now? I, I want to understand, eh? Is it when I kill myself that you accept my proposal? What now? Eh? I don't like this thing you are doing to me, would you? I don't like it at all. What have I done to you? Eh? Olga, scream. I don't know if you don't used to understand English why the sun shines. What is your problem, eh? You're stressing me. Would you? I always think about you. Can't you understand? I can't sleep these days. Can't you understand? I've told you that I'm not interested and that is fine now. Please, what is your problem? Would you? This girl, again, eh? Always spoiling my ticket. But this time around, I must get you. <sighs> anyway, I will not give up. I will continue trying. But I must get you. Again, again, eh? <laughs> yeah, Mazadiki, how is everyone? Everyone is fine, but uh, no, nobody is at home. It's only me that is at home. <laughs> I, I didn't even know you came back. Oh, yes. I've been around over two weeks now, but I've been running around for something. Ah, okay. That's good. Let me get the cola. No, no, no. Ma'am, I came to discuss something very important with you. Ah, okay. I'm listening. The first, I cannot come to your house empty and dead. Uh, that's why I got this for you. This is for you too. Hennessy, okay, Moya. You are really a son of the soil. <laughs> I came to discuss something very important with you. Uh, Concerning your daughter. I want to marry her. Which of my daughters? Obianuju. I want to marry her. <laughs> we do, um, uh, but have you made your intention known to her? Oh, yes. I have discussed it with her, but she thinks that I'm not serious. That's why I'm here. For you to help me talk to her. Okay, no problem. Uh, she's my daughter. I know how to talk to her. Um, I will speak with her. After speaking with her, then I will get back to you. Thank you very much. It's okay. Thank you very much. I was so delighted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, you say you are in a hurry, you're in a hurry. But it's wrong. You must sit down, I will give you color. Yeah? Uh, <laughs> but you, you must eat color. No yeah. problem, sir. Mm. Hey, I'm going to look at him down. I'm coming with you. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Please come. Good evening, my dear. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. And where are you coming from? Lesson. I'm just coming from your father's house. He's just coming from my house. What did you go to my house to do? Sorry. There you go again. There you go again. Like I told you, I want more than a relationship with you. Would you? I want to marry you. Ekene, I have told you that I am not interested. I don't want to get married now. Yes. My concern now is just my education. I don't want to get married. Would you? I have notified your father my intention towards you. Wait, if I may ask, is it my father that you want to get married to? Am I not the one who, who is supposed to accept your proposal? I know, I know. But for you to see how serious I am. Okay. I know you're serious. I know you're not joking. But please, I don't want to get married now. Definitely I'll get married later, but not now. 
have to graduate. Uju, why are you treating me like this? Why? Ekene, please. I'm, I'm not really in the mood to discuss this now. I just want you to have this in your mind that Uju does not want to get married now. I might get married though, but it's maybe later in life, but not now, like not now, please. Ah. Sorry. What should I do for this girl to know that I really love her? I want to have this girl, but she's fucking me for her. Uh, Uju, one. Papa? Um, before he came back, Ekene, uh, the son of Anewe, uh, he came here. Mm. He came here, he said uh, he want to marry you. Papa, I have told you that I don't want to get married now. I want to further my education. Papa, I want to become a lawyer. And I can't achieve that by getting married now. I don't know why you, you don't have sense sometimes. What is finishing your education? Eh? Okay, if you become a doctor, if you become a lawyer, or whatever, eh, you will still end up in, in, in a man's kitchen. That is your position. So, what, what is the meaning? Getting married now or getting married then? Is it not the same thing? Eh? Papa, it makes a lot of difference. Yes. What is your problem? What, 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 what is your problem? Eh? Papa, okay, now listen to me. Ekene is a successful businessman. Imagine a young man that came to see your father the first time. Don't go see your father. He came with Hennessy. Hennessy, do you know how much Hennessy cost? Imagine when you now tell him, go ahead, what he will do. That means he will come here. In fact, this entire village cannot contain what he will come with. Hennessy. And he's also... A very nice young man. I, we, we all know him. Eh? Why not be reasonable? Papa, I have said this before. And I will say it again. I don't want to get married now. I am too young for marriage. Eh? What will I go into marriage to do now at this age? Papa, I'm still in secondary school. I have to go to the university, graduate, before talking about marriage. Besides, my other sister is still in this house. She's not yet married. And you people are forcing me to get married. Ha! Um, my daughter. Bunge. Mama, I am disappointed that you will be part of this conversation. Yes! I don't believe you will be part of this conversation. Papa, please. I was cooking before you called me. Let me go back to the kitchen. No, you don't, no. Would you? You're walking out on us. Are you serious? Nani, she has a point. Her point is pointless. What point? Why are you behaving like this? Behaving like what? This is an intelligent young girl. She will run over secondary education this year. After her secondary education, she will go to university, graduate, then come out and start talking about marriage. Now, listen to me. Women education is useless. What do you Yes. I'm going to say that education is useless, isn't it? Only when you say it's useless. Don't give me such examples. I should, I should stand in them for you. I useless examples. You are telling me the ones that uh, one thing or the other made them successful. What are the, the ones that ended up in the kitchen? Why are you sounding like what this? What are you telling me? Why are you sounding like this? You are calling me because there's uh, whatever you call it or whatever you call them. Why are eh? you sounding what like this? What of all that that ended up in the kitchen? Eh? Okay, there are like one million that went to school and hundred succeeded. What are the other ones in the kitchen? Your daughter, look at everything about her. Does she look like someone that will succeed? Of course she will. She will not. She, she will, will. Not in the kitchen. Nani, she will. I don't need it. Ekene is a very Ekene is a very good businessman. Very successful businessman. If he marries her daughter, don't you consider the, the, the financial benefit? Why are you so concerned about financial gain? It's not about financial gain. What the gain? It's about her daughter's happiness. Nani. Uh, what happiness? Does the happiness bother happiness you? Happiness is happiness. If you want to be happy, you'll be happy. Are you not happy in this life? And you don't want her to be happier? She will be happier. When she finishes her education, then she can marry. If you want to push her into the this, Ekene cannot even meet his financial needs. How much more our own? Okay, but You are talking nonsense. I, what else? It's you about NSC. He came with NSC. What else? Nani, I talk about the thing Abiko. No, what else would I look for? Nonsense. Get with Hennessy. Just to see me. Do you know what it means? As soon as I now said, marry my daughter. They will turn this village to, to, to bravery. 
Bring with and everything, and everything good. You people cannot, you cannot, you cannot stop my, 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 my prosperity. Go with the food, I'm not Papa, why? What happened? Which one didn't you hear? What's wrong with you? I said go with the food, I'm not, I'm not eating. Are you, are you deaf? Again. Mama, I brought food and Papa said he's not eating. No. You don't want to eat food. Eh? Sorry, Lemion. What is it? I don't want to eat any food served by you because she refused to get married. Oh, this marriage issue. No, you couldn't. Allow her to go to school. By the time she graduates, and she can get married. If you push her into marriage, now look at how young she is. She's still young now, you couldn't. Oh? I've heard you. Eh? I've heard you. I've heard you. I've heard you. I've heard you. you. know the way you look. <laughs> I want to confuse me with this. Eh, I hear you. <laughs> Good. Mm-hmm. If we are not me. Uju, stop crying. <laughs> it's okay. I know that our father can be very annoying, but you just have to be strong. Why is Papa doing this? <laughs> what is his problem? Is it by force to get married? Why is he forcing me to get married? I don't understand. <laughs> Mama, hmm? why is Papa behaving like this towards you? Hmm. Hmm. It's okay. Hmm? Everything is okay now. Hmm. Mama, can you know the way he rejected the food that I brought for him? Eh? Why is Papa treating me this way? Because I don't want to get married. Eh? At what age though? Is she not my elder sister? Is he because he married? Eh? You people should mount this pressure on him because they are not me, Biko. It's okay. Is that why you're crying like a baby? You know how your father behaves. Your father is stubborn. You know that. Eh? But please take it easy. Oh? Would you? Please. Stop crying. It's okay. Hmm? Oh? <laughs> oh? Since second this time, they want to get married. Me, I want to get married. Me, I want to get married now. Stop crying. Me, I want. I must be a lawyer. Ah. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, my mother. It's okay. Stop crying. Okay. You know your father. Very stubborn man. You can walk out. Walk on a lot of mama and family. Okay. 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 Who is there? Come and carry the plate. Mm. Ah. It's okay, it's okay. Um, Father. I didn't even know you were inside. Oh, yes, I was inside. You finished eating. Yes, the soup is fine. Um, Father, please. I want to talk to you about something. Oh, you did not even come to carry blade. Sit down and let's talk. Father, please tell me. Am I not beautiful enough? Hmm? Am I not beautiful enough to attract a any man of, of, of my choice? You are beautiful enough. So why is it that all the men in this village keep going for Uju, my sister? Nobody comes for me. Well, I'm older than her, I'm old enough to get married. Mm. Oh, I, it's a wonderful observation. And it's worth uh, my attention. No problem. My daughter, I will look into it. Uh, you're right. Yes. Father, please, please, try and look into it. Because it's not looking like it is not ordinary. Mm, I'll look into it. Uh, after the place, I'll, I'll look into it. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, 
My name is Henry Okosa. Alright, I, I hail from the neighboring village. I saw your daughter along the roadside. I, I tried talking to her, but she wasn't paying me no attention. Seriously. Look, sir. I love your daughter and I would want to marry her, if given a chance. Let me, let me get you up. Thank you, sir. Hey! Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you are welcome. Thank you. you are welcome. Uh, you know there is an adage that goes like this: that whatever a man attends is maturity. It's not an abomination. You're very much right. It is not abomination. It's, it's, right. it's right. That is whatever you are doing, and you know you are up to that. It makes it shows that you are responsible. Yeah. You understand. You are indeed a responsible man. You are welcome. Thank you, Thank you. <laughs> I thought it's all this boy that when they say, guru, 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 you understand? And you understand what I'm saying? I understand. Your Very point, irresponsible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am so happy. You know, my daughter, she is a very naive girl, very average. I train her very well. I put fear into her. As I'm seeing it, already. I don't think any man has no. Yeah, yeah, don't do man. You understand? Yes, yes, That's why you yes. see her in that way. Yes, you are welcome. Yes. You are highly welcome. Your intention is powerful. I am so happy. See, the response. You, are, you have a very good intention. So I, I, I now see you as my, my prospective uh, <laughs> official. In fact, I officially. See you now as my prospective in law. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm really very grateful that you welcomed me in your house. Good. I want you to know this. She is my daughter. Hmm? So don't worry. Hmm? Don't bother yourself. I will call her. I will speak to her. I will remove those fears. Because it's a very naive case. It's a very naive case. It's a very naive case. After speaking to her, eh? just give me three days. Eh? Come back. You will see what will happen. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Give me a few minutes, I'm coming. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, um, so I know that this is very small, but it's just a token, 100,000. Is it for your bread? <laughs> You call this one small. That's how you manage this one. Manage it. It's a little token. Alright. Uh, uh, more will become. 100,000. So thank you very much. I don't know how to appreciate you. It's nothing. Eh? Nothing. So this was not even started. <laughs> what did you say? Is that your name? Harry Ogosa. Harry Ogosa, my in law. Here you go, my in law. I'm so grateful. Yes, um, I, I will be going. It's. Morning late. Good. The day is running down. Um, yeah, my son in law. I should be on my way now. My son in law. I will be back in next week. Thank you, my son in law. Thank you, my son in law. You will see her, Don't worry. All right. Thank you, my son in law. Hey! What is this? God, I thank you. Hey! What is this? My in law, Harry of course, my in law. Hey, self Johnny. Hey, he get in there. I will not tell her again. I will not tell her again. He get in there. Come, we have gotten an in law. Right husband for you. Come, he get in. Come, oh, God has provided a husband for you. I thought we concluded plans that she will further her education. Whatever we decided, I'll be overtaken by events. I don't understand. You will understand. Call your daughter for me. Oju? Oju? Mama, I'm coming. 
Oh. Mama, you called me. Oju, a young man that just left here has so much interest on you. So much interest. Huh? Interest in me? How, Papa? But I don't understand. Which one you don't understand? He wants to marry you. Eh? Hmm. Uh, marry? But, Papa, I thought that... Thought what? what? What are you thought? Say thought. You thought what? Whatever you thought is equal to what you are here. I'm talking about somebody has so much interest to marry you. The thing every other woman, the thing every other woman is crying for. And you're saying you're taught. Not what? But Papa, do you even care about what he does for a living? What he does for a living is inconsequential here because the man is doing well. With me, what he does for a living is good. So he, he wants to marry you. Papa, I just want to let you know that I am not going to marry him. And that is fine now. Okay, so we are we are challenging now. Okay, you are challenging me now. No, Papa. Papa, but I've told you this before. I want to further my education. And my mind is made up. I don't want to get married now. I've said it before. Ah, it's a good idea. You want to further your education? Okay, you will further your education. Yes, go on and further your education. But now you have to take care of your education. With your money, you have to take care of everything. Eh? Mama, Mama, talk to Papa. Papa. Get out of my sight. Nani. I said get out. <laughs> Nani. Don't even go there. Don't even talk about it at all. If you're wishing about your mother, you're supposed to, supposed to be asking yourself questions. What is happening? Why is it that nobody is coming to seek from God's hand in marriage? Yes. Yes. I went to ask them more. I went to ask them more because of this. You went to ask them more? To do what? Yes, I went to ask them more to know why. And ask them more told me clearly that nobody, that, that Ngozi cannot marry. That Uju is the one holding Ngozi. Hey! Uju is the one holding in Gozi. How? Yes, meaning that nobody will come for Ngozi's hand in marriage except Uju marries. That Uju must marry before anybody will come to Ngozi. But because of the kind of God she, she had. I don't believe that. I will never believe in Ezemo's report. Ah. The only report I will believe is God's report. When is God's time, both of them will marry. It's not yet God's time. Nine. I don't want to have issue with God. But what I'm saying is that Whatever your pastor says, I don't believe it. It is SM more that I believe. And when it's SM more's time, everything will work. What are you telling me? Do you know the man I'm telling you? Do you know the kind of uh, powerful he is? You're telling me nonsense. Who is your pastor? SM more's time? Yes. Are you the one saying this? Yeah, I am the one. At SM more's time, everything will shine. Is it not SM more's time? Yes! What can you do? Come on, go. Come on, go. Come on, go. What have I done to my father? What kind of, what kind of frustration is this? Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Would you? You're here crying. Eh? Why are you doing this to yourself? See, I understand what you're passing through. But you just have to take it easy. Why is Papa doing this? Why is Papa treating me this way? What have I done? What have I done? It's okay. <laughs> I will go in there now and I will talk to Papa. I know he will listen to me. <laughs> you better do. And I pray he listens to you. If he doesn't listen to you, I will run away from the south. No. I will run to a very far place and nobody will find me. No, I will run away from no. a very far place. No, it has not gotten to that. Don't worry, I will, I will talk to him now. I will go there and I will talk to him and I know he will listen to me, okay? <laughs> you better do. I will give him
My dear, it's something I need to discuss with you. I'm listening. I was thinking of something last night. This young man that is coming here today, the one that is asking for her daughter's hand in marriage, I'm thinking we should discuss with him about her daughter's um, education. I mean, after their marriage, wedding and everything, that he should please send her daughter back to school. I don't know, in that way we'll be able to kill two bears with one stone. You are right, my wife, you are right, but uh, you know that Uji is very stubborn. I will speak with her. I've spoken with her already. And what is it? Yeah. You know Uji and her way of doing things, she didn't say anything, but I'm sure she would like this option. She likes education a lot. In that case, uh, it's not a problem. All mm -hmm. I would do is, anytime the young man comes, I will make him understand. Good, that's nice. <laughs> I'm learning from you. Look at you. Look at Can you imagine that? Oh, God. 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 Oh, Eh? Hey, we will not forget about you. Right. <laughs> eh? No. Welcome. Hey, we're just talking about you now. Hey, yeah, you're welcome. Welcome. So, how is your people? Oh, we thank God. Fine. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's <laughs> go straight to the point. Mm. Uh, you know my daughter. Uh, she she's still in school. And she will be true with her secondary education this section. Yes. So I understand your point. If it's all about our school fees, I will handle that. Don't worry about it. Okay, <laughs> <not a problem. laughs> It's exactly what we are, you know, deliberating on. Eh? That's good. That's good. <laughs> you shouldn't bother about that. That is what I can handle. So forget about so forget about it. I will, I will take care of it. Yes. 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 God has really blessed me. God has really remembered me by giving me an in-law like you. Yes. I am so happy. So any well, the only thing I want you to know is this. Anytime, the coast is clear now. Anytime you and your people want to come, just let me know. Mm -hmm. Give me dates. You are welcome. See, in-law, you don't need to worry. All right? I used to pay school fees for my people, so I'm much more my wife, future wife. So don't worry, I can handle it. Hey! They will totally totally As I be completely fine. I should be what about my your wife? She's there for you. I will give you a veggie. I want to give you a veggie. <laughs> I know that you trained her very well because when I was trying to stop her along the road, she was busy running. These other girls they would just jump into the car. No, no, what you I know, mean. On seeing the car in the first place, yes. that's why I followed her. <laughs> I trained her. Ah. <laughs> uh, I want to let you know that we have your best interest at heart. Henry has promised us that he will enroll you in school, not just in school but university. Go to school and come out. Mama, how are you sure he will keep to his words? You know most times men can't be trusted. I trust Henry. He's a man of integrity. I trust him. Mama, you're talking about integrity. Eh? Someone you don't know too well. Ha. Okay. Why don't we give it a trial? And what if it doesn't work? It will work. I'm sure of that. I want you to be optimistic. The young man loves you so, so much. Don't throw away this opportunity, please. And he wants to put you through school and you pay your school fees and everything. Oh. And besides, who doesn't want a lawyer as a wife? Don't throw away this opportunity, please. It's hard to come by. <laughs> Mama, I have no other option. Since you and Papa have already put me in a tight corner. Ah, don't mm. see it like that. Don't see it like that. Your father loves you so much. I will want the best for you. Ah. Just think about this, you know. Oh, you know, 
Okay. Mm. Okay. 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 Come on, when I say follow my directions, here, here, and here, you listen. Hey, who's lady? Babe. Who's lady now? You? How are you? I know you are different. Very good. Mm. <sighs> How are you? I'm fine. I'm okay. So. Well, um, I called you here to let you know that I'll be traveling to the village soon. Hope there is no problem. No, not at all. Okay, if you say so. But baby, you need to be very careful. Remember you are still a fugitive. Yeah, I know. But you shouldn't have bothered asking me to come over. I mean, this is something you could have said over the phone. I did because. Because I've missed you. You know, I miss you more. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I have to run along now. I have some appointments to catch up with. So, please be good. Alright. You too. Hey. Trust me. I know you are not happy going to marry another girl. I can never be happy. I wish. I just wish I could. I could avert this condition. I am telling you. You need children. It's obvious that she can't conceive. Yeah. You know, the last time she had an accident. My doctor told me that she, she can't conceive no more, but She's not even aware of that. Honestly, I wish I could avert this situation. I wish, I only wish. Yes, I understand. Like I said before, you need children. But it's all right. Yeah. Um, like I was saying in the last operation, I gave you people map. Here, here.
looking for you in the bedroom. What are you doing? Oh, sorry, I slept off. <laughs> so, um, can we get in there? And uh, no, don't worry. You can go. I'll call you later. Okay, but all right, fine. We can still have some fun here. I don't really know what you mean by fun, but if it is what I'm thinking, I've not done it before. I don't even know how to do it. Oh, I'm going to do it. I don't know how to do it. I'm so scared. I've not done it. No, sorry. Already. Food is ready. I don't eat at home. I'm not hungry. Eh? I don't understand. What don't you understand? Are you deaf? I said I don't eat at home. Cook whatever I want to eat and eat. Please, excuse me. Please, I'm sorry for what happened last night. Forgive me. I said I should pull off my clothes. Madam, hurry, pull off your clothes. For what? I don't understand. No, to run around, to play. Remove your clothes, my friend. that mean by the right close to your room, huh? Huh? Yeah. I don't want you anywhere there, no matter what happened. I don't want you anywhere there. Do I make myself clear? Yes, um, but why? Are you insane? No, are you mad? No. How dare you question my orders? Are you insane? Now listen very good. 
As far as you stay in my house, whatever I say goes. Huh? Yes. Okay. Please, I want to have a word with you. I don't know if I can okay. start saying it now or later. You know you're not always around. Can you talk? I'm listening. Um, it's um about my school. You've not said anything for long now concerning me furthering my education. So you don't know that you're a married woman now, huh? Forget about it. But that was not what you... I know what I said to your parents. I know what I said to them. But it has been overtaken by some events. Okay? Thank you. Uh, what about my phone? Are you giving it back to me? I'm not giving it back to you. Forget about your phone too. Don't ask me one more question. How my dreams will die. It's just as if my life is shattered. I've always dreamt of being a lawyer. I've always wished to be a lawyer. But today, I don't even have any hope for tomorrow. I don't even have a say in this house. Oh God. Papa. Papa, wherever you are, I want you to know that you cost this. You are the cause of what I am passing through now. You are the reason why my dream is shattered. After her marriage, my husband is not just bothered at all. I don't even know whether she's still alive or dead. God, please let nothing happen to my daughter, Biko. Um, please, I would want you to take me to the hospital. I'm not feeling fine. Excuse you, are you blind? No, can't you see that I'm on my way out? I have an important appointment to catch. Are you okay? Uh, honey, what appointment is more important than the health of your wife and your unborn child? Just talking crap. <laughs> Take this. Take. Take it, Carol. Well, I think you don't understand how important it is to make money these days. You can use this one. And if you delay in taking this one, I'll collect it. Then you trip to the hospital. Pull off your gown. Uh, honey, but I told you in the morning that I wasn't feeling fine. It's beating my condition. I'm pregnant now. Mm -hmm. Eh? What can we do for you? Where is Henry? Um, he has gone out. Please, who are you? And you are? I'm his wife.
Look, baby, I, I understand how you feel and I will explain. Can you just give me a chance to explain to you? No. You don't understand how I feel. And you have nothing to explain. How could you? How could you after all we've been through? Come on. You are the one I love and not that girl. Why are you trying to misunderstand everything? Who cares whether you love her or not? That woman in your house is carrying your child. That is the point. She is carrying my child. That is the point. I got married to her to make babies for me. Nothing much. Are you indirectly telling me I cannot conceive? Come on, why will you be thinking of such? That is not what I mean. It's not what I mean. Then what do you mean? Hey, listen, okay, I... Do not baby me. Do not baby me. Henry, you are heartless. You suggested we live apart. And I accepted on the ground that you are a fugitive. Not knowing you have other intentions in your mind. Henry, you are a serpent. You are heartless. Babe, listen, listen. Can you just understand me? We, we, we will sort the it. The only way to sort it out is for you to send her out. Because I can't let it stand. I'm sorry, that is totally deceptive. I mean, you know she's carrying Henry, my child. Henry, you There's heard no me. I, can't... I said I can't let it stand. Babe, I, I can't send her out because she's carrying my child. That, that, uh, that's a threat. Could that's you it. have to take seriously? Guys, as it stands now, we don't have much information about this man. So we have to form a wide parameter. So they don't escape our ambush. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Boss lady, are you okay? I am fine. But you are. Hey! Focus. Like I was saying earlier, before I was interrupted, we have to form a wide parameter so that so that they don't escape our ambush. They view an Italian will who stand in front of the entrance. Why me and Sophia will get in? If anybody comes out, suck the person's blood. Oh, well, oh, well. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, who is there? You again? What do you want? I am giving you 48 hours to leave this house. Why would I leave my husband's house? Because Henry is my husband. What are you talking about? I am not here to explain myself to you. Neither am I here to banter words with you. I am only here to warn you to leave. Failure of quit attracts a grave consequence. <laughs> if you want to marry, there are so many young men out there, eh? You can get married to any of them and stop going after married people, huh? Ah! 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 You have just 48 hours. You tell me you've been married. Why are you just heartless? Excuse you. Beg your pardon. Listen, the girl that came here the other day, she was here today and she warned me to leave this place. I wouldn't have had issues with her if she did not slap me. 
perhaps maybe you we did something that made her to slap you. So. Oh! Yeah. I can't believe you just saying that to me. You know you're heartless. You are a beast. I beg your pardon. Are you insane? Oh, if that is your own understanding of the word insane, oh yes, I am insane. You are a devil. I hate you. You have to come down to my house to confront my woman. Why? I must be honest with you. Nothing has been sorted out. She must leave. And if she doesn't, I will make her leave. Hold on, is, is that a threat? No, is that a threat? Maybe you and I understand that word differently. You're very funny. But I must tell you, I must tell you that I don't like the tone you're using to discuss this. I don't! Henry, you are entitled to whatever. But I have made my position clear. Baby, baby, listen. Listen, okay? Um, wow. Um, wow. You suddenly remember to call me that? Look, I am trying to explain something to you. Tomorrow is the mother of all of you. I want you to be in your right frame of mind so that we can make this a hit. Forget about this, we can sort it out later. That is what I am trying to say. Please. I can walk and talk simultaneously. is not a childish game. It is a serious one. And we need to take it serious. No mistakes. So, guys, as we are marching out, we are going to come back victorious. We are lions. And when we get in there, Everyone will run. You heard all I said. May I repeat myself? No, sir. Do I repeat myself again? No, sir.
a long Now listen to me, if you don't leave this town before two days, you'll be responsible for what will happen to you. What did I say? You said I'll be responsible for whatever that will happen to me if I don't leave in two days. Good. And what do you have to say? I will leave. I must leave. I must leave. <laughs> now, run. I don't want you anywhere there. Do I make myself clear? Yes, um, but why? Are you insane? No, are you mad? No.
knife. Would you? Would you? Don't you ever, don't you ever call my name again. You call yourself my father, right? You call yourself my father. I want you to take a very good look at me. Tell me how I look. Can you see the result of pushing someone into getting married at all costs? You forced me to get married to a devil that clothed himself in human skin. Papa, are you not wicked? Are you not heartless? Father, because of you I passed through a lot. I was traumatized. I was down to it. I lost my baby. You know what? I will never forgive you. I will never forgive you. Ha! Huh. Okay. Is the is the mouth? Damn! Nine. 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 It's okay. It's okay. Relax. Relax. Please, please, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Please. Hey. Would you? Would you come and help me now? Nine. Nine. Don't do this now. Eh? Don't do. Would you? Nine. Don't do this now. Don't do this to me now. I'm gonna be fat because.